today, me and my dad are gonna go check out a stone quarry, uh, an active stone quarry where they are currently mining limestone um, for various things like tiles and kitchen countertops and things like that. You know, I think for me, the purpose of going there is to kind of get a sense of, all right, well, what is it, what does mining stone and moving stone look like today to kind of help contextualize how impressive it is that, you know, these early Britons erected Stonehenge. I said erected. Uh, I'm not too sure how um, excited my dad will be over this, uh, but I'm kind of interested. Modern day Stonehenge. This is cool. Did you just utter that this was cool? No, I went, oh, what a fool. <laughs> I'm Jack. Hello, Jack. I'll give you a hat each. Thank you. You're welcome. If you want to put that over your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's it, the way I, people tend to carry it. Just, just put it over your shoulder like a handbag if you want. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to get some more. You okay with that? I'm going to start eating carbs. Okay. Right, let's go and have a look then. Let's go look at some rocks. How far underground are we going? Several hundred meters. The limestone in the roof is an algal limestone, so that limestone was produced by bacteria. Mm -hmm. The Portland stone that we're after is what's called a chemogenic stone, and it was actually precipitated from seawater. Oh, wow. So this is about 145 million years old. Wow. Do you guys ever find any fossils down here when yeah, you're digging? Yeah, occasionally we do. Yeah. What do they use this stone for? A lot of buildings in London. St. Paul's Cathedral's made of it. They're used on Buckingham Palace, Bank of England. I didn't think it was going to be ceilings this high. No, roof to floor height here is about nine and a half meters. Wow. This covers about eight or nine acres at the moment. Wow. And how much bigger will it go? So we're taking out a 10 meter thick slab of rock Basically, we're, we're taking the cheese out of the sandwich. I was just going to say the exact same thing. Yeah. It's taking the cheese out of the sandwich. That's what we're doing. Gets you wondering, like, how did a bunch of cavemen attempt to accomplish a similar feat? I mean, obviously, they weren't digging underground, but... And it's, it's quite interesting because um, the amount of manpower needed to move those stones strongly suggests that society was organized to the point where there was spare labor. Yeah. But there wasn't that many people around in them days. Well, there must have been enough people, mustn't there? Yeah, there must have been. And there must have been enough spare people so people could be freed up to, to work on that kind of thing. Yeah. That's really amazing in there. Ah, it's um, different, isn't it? Yeah. Now, that's probably the oldest place we've seen. 120 million years old rock. Well, when you think of it, we're, we're, we're like less than a whisper here. Yeah. That are the Prince of Darkness and History Nerd. Ozzy and Jack Osborne. He's traveled the world, but never stopped taking the sights. Ozzy! Hit the road. Oh. Oh.